So Marie, thank you very much for allowing me to record this supervision session. And I want to be sure that it's okay with you that we are doing this. That I Absolutely. Record this. Okay. Absolutely, Damien. Thank you for inviting me. No, thank you. And, and we have 30 minutes, you know, for, for this uh, supervision session. And I'm wondering what we'd like to explore today. Yeah, I've been, ref I've been reflecting on that as, as, we've, as I've been coming to the call. There's a client that I'm working with who, he's a very interesting character and I, I love to explore that relationship that's happening with myself and him. Okay. Do you have any specific question about that that you would like to explore? <sighs> he's a, he's a big person in the organization and and he's a big person as a character and he's a large physical physical person and he reached out to his organization he wanted to work with an executive coach and he'd heard of me but he hadn't experienced my work but he'd, he'd nominated me as the person to work with even before the chemistry session so i thought that was interesting because Usually I, I don't commit to working with anyone until they, have, they know how I work. We did have a chemistry session and it was like, well, I, I want to work with you anyway. It doesn't, this chemistry doesn't matter, but it does matter to me. So I insisted we had it. And I was intrigued by him because he's, he is a big, um, I've said that word a number of times now, big, so that's interesting. He's a high profile person highly regarded and yet he's having issues with those lower down than him it, people are, are very very unhappy with the way he's treating those lower down than him so when we are coaching i notice he kind of wants to talk about all the great things he's doing with those above him. And I know my role is to help him uncover his blind spots in regards to his team below him. And I think the question is, What am, I, what, what am I doing that's influencing him keeping going higher up in our conversation? Because I know there's something within me that is enabling that. Okay, that's that a, an interesting exploration. Mm. So do you want to jump into exploring that? Yeah, I do. I feel... I, I notice my body is kind of, it's, I'm sitting forward and this is how I sit with him, Damien. So this is interesting. I'm, I sit the way, I'm sitting the way I sit with him, ready to go, prepared. Interesting where we are on screen, but we're sitting opposite each other. Our first session, I sat at the corner and he was really unhappy with that. And he asked me to move so that he could face me. Uh, I didn't get curious about it. I didn't get curious about what was happening for him in, in, the, in the dynamics when I was sitting kind of beside him rather than opposite him. And that's something I've been kicking myself about because it's, it's an indicator of something. Do you have any hypothesis? What could it be? Control. um yeah i think that's it's like this is my space don't invade it stay on the other side of the table and let's let's let me be in charge and what was your reaction in your body and working with him with that i i actually um, if i look at myself what i did was 
I think I deferred a little bit. I kind of noticed my head was down. I picked up my stuff and I, I moved across from him in a deferential kind of way. He caught me off guard. I was surprised by it. Yeah, Interest, an interesting start to our partnership. And I notice I'm careful about my observations of him. So I, I'm not careful about my observations. I'm careful about how I deliver my observations of him, which is unusual for me because I set up contract, the contracting with the client. They really know how, what they're going to get when they, they're going to get when they work with me direct. Um, if I see something, I name it. And with him, I'm, I notice it's interesting as I'm looking at myself now, I notice I am thinking, how am I going to deliver this to him in a way that's going to land okay? So what is your hypothesis about what he need or expect from you so he can hear you? I don't think many people tell him the truth. In fact, I think he's surrounded by sycophants who tell him what he likes to be told. Mm -hmm. And every time I tell him something that challenges him or his perception of himself, he laughs, he laughs out loud. And we, and of course, we get curious about that. And it's funny because he has he has a habit of saying when he's talking. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? And I, and I've I've noted his habit, but I I notice I want to say that with you when I'm talking. Does that make sense? And he. And I'm doing it now myself, so this interesting process happening. He stops breathing as he's just about to say something important. He holds his breath, and I've, I've reflected this back. He didn't know this, that, that he does this, but he almost stops breathing as he's thinking of what to say next before he says a point. And I notice I'm doing it myself. And when you notice that, what, what do you think can be the connection? I think as I'm holding my breath, as I'm thinking about him, I'm wondering what I'm not saying to him that could really create a shift for him. You know, I notice I'm the mirror, I hold up, I share what I'm noticing. But am I really challenging him to the capacity that he can take? 
The feedback from, he got 360 feedback. I received the feedback. It was horrible, by the way. So I know I'm, I'm making a huge judgment, but the language that was used in the feedback regarding him was quite offensive. And as I was preparing the feedback, I'm thinking, how am I going to deliver this? This is really harsh. And I decided with his permission to not change any of the language that people used, but it was completely anonymous, but to keep exactly as they wrote their answers to the feedback. And I spoke it out to him as well as let him read it. And it, it really hurt him. So I'm wondering if I'm also <laughs> feeling, I see this huge personality and that perhaps there's a part of me that's also trying to protect him and be kind to him. But, 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 you see, when you say that, that, that's what I was in my mind. This is what I was, I was wondering, and I didn't need to ask you the question because you shut up your question yourself. Yeah. But this is what, what I was going that. Uh, maybe there is a part of you that want to support you because interestingly you use the word horrible like in terms of the feedback you got but you never use that word or anything related to that about um, what do you think about him or your relationship with him so it seems that for one part this information is what I can call challenging information he got that was not very positive and then you uh, wanted to support him and at the same time, wondering to what to what extent you're protecting him on one side and challenging on the other side, and maybe because you're protective, not challenging enough, something like that. Yeah. And I, 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 I am present to me working with you too. That I want to do the same. Like in some way, like I, as a supervisor with you, I wanted to support you and I wanted to protect you, and at the same time, I want to challenge you. And yeah. And it seems here that you're really willing, open to be challenged. Are you? Yes, absolutely. That's what will help me grow, Damien. Okay, so what do you think your, your client will answer if you have the same question? Exactly the same as me. He would want to be challenged. When, when, when we sat together and shared the feedback, I could tell he was physically hurt by the words. Um, and yet he pretended he wasn't until we delved deeper and uh it was such a blow to the way he believed he'd been leading i mean it, it brought out so many blind spots um but it also and remember that was in in the initial stages of our partnerships so it also softened my heart towards him because i think i see him in a way that some others don't see him or haven't he isn't allowing others to see him in the place that i see him i think it's his his armor is definitely on and because of our coaching relationship the armor's been he's allowed the armor to be taken off and that and that potentially is me being careful about his wounds, which isn't serving him. Because I can be gentle, but I can also do it, do it in a way that's challenging. Like for example, Damien, if you, if you wouldn't challenge me, I'd be disappointed. Probably, and I was wondering how your client would answer to that. Probably, he would probably be in the same way. In yeah, because he was the one who request, requested the coaching. Yeah. So he is the one who wants to go. He, he went high up to, to get me. Um, it's, I'm the first person in the organization that they brought in to do coaching. Mm. So he wanted this. So I am not serving him if I, if I am protecting him. I can do both. I, I, I believe I can, as I'm thinking about it, I can, there's a way of me to hold him tenderly, 
but also respect that he can handle this. So what would, what would require from you as a coach? How do you need to show up for him as a coach? Well, what's coming to mind is, on our next session, is recontracting, and letting him know that this is coming up for me and my reflections about our work together. And that I, I think it's not serving his growth with me hesitating and holding back and holding my breath. So I think if I'm transparent, I always believe that transparency is the, is the best thing mm -hmm. in any partnership. Um, so I believe if, we, if I'm transparent, we recontract, we set some really clear ways of working moving forward, I think that will manage his expectations as well. Because mm -hmm. he expects me to do that. And I think his outcomes will be far greater. I was, I was thinking about this vulnerability. You didn't use that word vulnerability, but this is what I was hearing to some extent that he um, was able to be vulnerable with you to some extent. Yeah. You're being vulnerable with me now and being uh, transparent. We're talking about transparency. Yeah. Like, in the same way that. There is a theme here. I was transparent with you, wondering what was happening to me. You're being transparent with him. And then I wondered about transparency for him, how transparent he is with his people, and how is he being able to be vulnerable with you, but maybe he's not as vulnerable with his people. So something may be a blind spot there. But what is that's your reaction about this? When I'm that's saying? a really good point. So when, when I say for, for me, in our partnership, he takes his armor off. Um, now I've got an image of him putting it back on as he leaves the coaching and goes back into his team. Okay. And I think the experiences of his life and the challenges of his life has taught him not to be vulnerable because it's dangerous. And I believe the team are looking for some humanness to come from him. This, the thing that makes us human, this vulnerability. Mm -hmm. I think that's what they're desiring. And I think that, if we can, if we can bring that to the table, I think that will lead to some fantastic conversations and explorations for him and what that would mean as a leader to to be courageous, to be daring. It's interesting that you use this word courageous because I think that this is another thing here in our conversation today. Today, like uh, he being courageous, you being courageous with him, I being courageous with you. So I think that that uh, being courageous, it's uh, when you use that word, that has been in my mind during the session today, and that was in the background. Yeah. Well, so what I'm noticing between you is your openness, between you and I is your openness, and I also feel my openness in, in the space between the two of us. And for me, when there's that openness and vulnerability, there's nothing you can't talk about. We need to start wrapping up. And I want to share with you that before you were saying something, and I say that supervision like coaching is an art and a science because we follow some guidelines, but you can be creative and you can go to many different places. But you said something before that stay with me. And I want to, before we finish today, I want to bring it back that uh, when you share that when you uh, were courageous and when you bring some points to him, he left. And I, and I would wonder if there, there is something else that you may want to explore before we finish today, like his reaction of laughing. It's, sometimes it's a way to deal with being uncomfortable. Mm. But I don't know, what, what do you think? What else may be there? Yeah, I, I 
think he, I mean, he did say, I asked, why are you laughing? And he said, because you can see me when other people don't. And it's, and it's funny to be, he said, it's funny to me that I think I'm protecting myself with you, but you, you see anyway. And perhaps there is also something else underneath it. Yeah, I'm going to get curious about that. There is a possibility that when you do this, come up again. So yeah. it will be interesting to find out. What Definitely. Else. Yeah, I'm seeing him again next week. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. For, for me, what, what I was, um, when you said that, what came to me was like the message behind that would be something like, you got me. Yeah. You, know, you, <laughs> yeah. got, you got me, you know. Yeah. In fact, I, I feel like that's what the exact words he said. Uh, okay. You got me. And you got me on various levels. You, you got me as you get me, you understand me. You got me as you caught me. Mm -hmm. You know, there's, there's very, various levels of you got me. And also, I know um, he's, he's a fan of coaching. I've got him in enjoying uh, this process of coaching for him. And he's getting himself because of the work he's doing. Yeah, nice, nice reflection. So before we finish, anything you want to say and maybe any key learnings from the conversation? Well, I, I noticed it's, I have a sense of joy as I'm leaving. It's been a very um, playful as well as enlightening supervision session. There's been a, um, a wonderful equality between the two of us as we've been reflecting that we've been bouncing off each other. And I think that's also my relationship with my client. So that, that's a lovely thing to observe. And yeah, as always, this supervision just provides more growth and room for reflection. So I'm gonna continue to think about this as we leave. Thank you, Damien. No, thank you. And I was wondering, it sounds like also a parallel process, like your client is pretty open with you. Yeah. And you have been really open here in this process too. So I want to thank you too for that. My pleasure. Yeah. Okay, so is it okay still for me to use this recording? Absolutely. Yes, happy for you to use it. Okay, let me stop here. <laughs>